We manufacture dog food, cat food. When it comes to pet food, monkey food, cricket food, Barrett Pet Foods Innovations near Brainerd, Minnesota, seems to make a food for just about every creature ever kept as a pet. Bearded dragon foods. And then some. Basically anything that you could find in a PetSmart, a Petco, or at a zoo, um, we sort of make it. Tom Barrett, UND class of 2007, and his sister Sarah have been working together to build the company started by their father. You won't find a Barrett Pet Food Innovations brand in your local pet store, however. The company is a co-packer, meaning it makes foods that are then sold under the label of their clients' companies. We get everything from the multinational companies that come in, have a well-developed formulation and want us to make it, down to Betty in her kitchen in New York City that's been making dog biscuits and thinks she wants to take it global now. And, and she's been you know, putting some oatmeal and, and uh, rice together and making a nice dog treat. So we'll get ev the whole gamut basically um, and we deal with everything in between. The key component of this operation is this extruder, purchased used by Tom's father Mike about a decade ago. Mike was using it to make pig feed and organic fertilizer, but Sarah did some research and discovered it was better suited to making high-end pet food. Tom had lost his job with Cessna in 2009 during the economic downturn, and he came home to the plant across the highway from where he grew up to help grow the business with his sister. Built our reputation on being a kind of a niche manufacturer, doing everything that everybody else didn't want to do, and um, you know, doing smaller volumes, um, startup companies, just dealing with everything else that the rest of the industry didn't want to do, and then providing services on top of that. And then since then, it's been um, we've been growing at anywhere from. 200% to 50% a year, year over year. So it's been, it's been good growth in the last uh, three to four years. Um, and now we're looking at further expansion. The company has taken advantage of being able to use Mike Barrett's 2,000 acre farm as a source of ingredients for its pet foods. And that's something nobody else in the industry is doing. So now we're, be, we're able to sell that to our customers as we're gonna grow chickpeas and, and yellow peas and lentils right out here in our farm where a stone's throw away from our production plant, uh, have total traceability and control of those, and then we're gonna put them into your pet food this winter. Some clients require more exotic ingredients, so Barrett Pet Foods Innovations imports from more than a dozen countries. It also exports to countries all around the world. Last year, Minnesota Governor Mike Dayton recognized the company with an international trade award. We have a lot of people ask us, like, does your dog food ever leave Minnesota? Does it sell anywhere else? I'm like, yeah, it's in 50 states, and it's in, you know, probably close to 20 countries. And so it is a very uh, global business that we're obviously quite proud of.